Okay, back to our regular tackle. In this situation, we have both a tackled player and a tackler. Now, the tackler has to release and roll away immediately, according to the law book. The tackled player has to release the ball and play it immediately, according to the law book. What are the chances of both of those two things happening immediately? Absolutely zero. So the question is, which of these two things does the referee concentrate on first? The answer is the tackler. He's the man we've got to get out of the road for the betterment of the game. If we can get him out, then we free up space for players to come through and contest for the ball, and we make it easier for this player to play the ball and for the, the possession to be contested. So let's look at the tackler and what he needs to do, given that he's the first port of call for the referee. First thing he needs to do is actually release the tackle player on the ground. Not many people understand that that's the first thing that has to happen before we worry about rolling away or anything like that. So release the player on the ground, and if he fails to do that, penalty kick is for no release. Once he's released, he's now got a choice of two options. He can get straight to his feet and go for the ball if he's in a position to do so. So straight on off your, onto your feet and go away. Note, he does not have to worry about any gate. He's a tackler, he can pick up the ball from any direction and go. Or if he's not in a position to get to his feet and contest the ball, he's simply got to roll away. And a player who doesn't roll away and leaves, and leaves himself protecting the ball can be penalised for not rolling away. So in this situation we have had a tackle and again we don't have a tackler. But this player finds himself already in the gate, which means he's in a position to go straight for the ball. However, the first thing he's got to do is release the tackle player on the ground and release the ball. Some players will try and make this high focus tackle, go to ground, never let the player or the ball go and have a tug at the ball. Well, that's actually a penalty for no release. This player who's on his feet has got to let go of the ball on the ground and then have a crack at the ball from that position after he's done that.